Hello, welcome to this 15 minute morning wake up flow. So if you've just come out, got out of bed, you just need to simply wiggle and roll and just awaken that body, whether you slept awkwardly or just feel the need to now just arrive in your practice. So let's start by coming into a sphinx position. Just have a little wiggle in the hips roll into the shoulders let those elbows sink down into the ground and just check in that you're not just slouching between those shoulder blades so a little wiggle and roll allowing some space into that lower back if you've slept predominantly on one side so just feel into the body this morning so when you're ready maybe you start to bring a little bit of movement into the neck Pull of rolls, side to side, back and forth, whatever feels good. And just notice how you're breathing. So this may be the first time you've paid a little bit of attention to it, to so notice that breath. So a little play around, but just drawing one heel to the buttocks and alternating the other one as well. Good. It doesn't have to be far, don't move too much, just enough to sort of waken up through those legs, a little bit of squeeze towards the glutes, lengthen through the toes. Good. And then we can start to very slowly ground down through the elbows and look over your shoulder towards that bent knee, the toes. And alternating to the other side. So you've got opposite toes. Good. Opposite shoulder drawing forwards. Nice. And then just start to slowly press down through the hands, spread through the fingertips. Can we rise up into lift to an upward dog? Or if that's too much as we ease into it, maybe just widen the hands a little bit. If you are warm and coming into this upward dog, lift the chest up to the sky just for one big breath. Good. And then exhale, roll over the toes finding that first downward facing dog. And have a little play around here. Maybe the feet go a little bit wider than normal. We allow the hips to just sway side to side. Spread down through the fingertips, lengthen through the arms. Play around with little rolls left to right, right to left. Let the heels pivot side to side, a little softness in the knees. As you play around with just really working into those side to side waist there maybe we explore if again you feel you just want a quick practice this morning to open up lift the opposite fingertips up to the sky which the heels have dragged to the opposite direction good so for instance heels to the left right hand reaching to the sky good only as an option feel free to just keep wiggling those hips side to side Good, finding your downward dog, pedal out through the feet. And just notice how it feels being in this space, this downward dog. When you're ready, we're gonna reach the right leg up to the sky. So reach through the toes. And then as you exhale, you're gonna hook the heel, the right foot behind the left heel as we pivot our weight forward to upward dog. Good, and again, inhale that right leg up to the sky. This time as we exhale, hug the knee to the navel, hovering plank. Inhale, right leg to the sky. And then exhale, bring that heel, foot over the left heel, hover in that upward dog. Again, inhale, right leg to sky. Exhale, knee to navel. Inhale, right leg to sky, and again, we reach high. And then exhale, bring that foot over the left heel, draw the heart to the sky, upward dog. Exhale, back into downward dog. And to the other side, inhale, left leg to the sky. As you exhale, forward to plank, and then drop that foot over that right heel as you lift your chest, upward dog. Inhale, left leg to the sky. Exhale, knee to navel. Inhale, left leg to the sky. 
and then exhale foot over that left right heel draw the heart forwards upward dog inhale left leg to the sky exhale knee to navel good inhale stepping back into your downward dog again pivoting walking out those heels how does that feel getting warm already into this practice this morning we're going to roll our weight over our right tiptoes as you hover the right knee off the floor press back hover the left toes left knee off the floor press back and then bring the right knee to the ground tuck the right toes under as you lengthen the left foot to the end of the mat and then peel your left arm up to the sky inhale can you draw your torso up now as you bring your whole body weight up weight into that left foot drag the left hand down the side of that left thigh and reach the right hand high exhale lower the right hand and slowly with control step that left foot forwards to the top of the mat we square the hips to the top of the mat we lengthen out that right leg and as an option only if you wish to go that far maybe the elbows come to the ground lizard pose or maybe you stay put hands beneath the shoulders just wiggle and roll around that left hip maybe you peel that left hip open coming onto that knife edge of the left foot draw the heart forwards good and then ground the left foot inhale sweep that left hand to the sky exhale hand to the ground can you slowly lift the back knee roll the hips to the sky straighten the front leg inhale draw the heart forwards lunge exhale straighten the leg hug the heart chin to the chest inhale send the heart forwards exhale that nice long lengthening through the legs let's add the arms in we inhale reach left hand forwards exhale hug that back that hand towards your left thigh good inhale reach the hand forwards long lunge exhale reaching the hand long behind and again slowly inhale exhale and then bring the hands to the ground slowly turn those left toes in let's pivot the weight to the right so we come to this now wide leg just coming into that gentle opening into the inner thighs that groin stretch we pivot the weight to the right side rising on the right tiptoes skarandasana left hand to the sky good exhale pivot the weight to the left Round that left hand, right hand to the sky, breathe in, breathe out, pivot again, side to side, just easing into your hips, good, and then when you're ready, start to slowly send your weight over to that right side, breathe in, step back down with dog, breathe out, good, roll your weight forwards like a wave as you ripple to upward facing dog, inhale, Engaging through those glutes, exhale, downward facing dog. Breathing in, breathing out. Good, breathing in, breathing out. Feel that breath filling up your body. Exhale, good. We're going to roll over the right tiptoes, hover the knee to the ground. Exhale, press back. Hover the left knee over the ground. Roll over the toes like a ballerina point. Exhale, press back. Inhale to the right, exhale back. Slowly draw that left knee down and then extend the right leg long. Inhale, reach the right hand to the sky. Float the arm forwards and then using that strength of your core, coming up, bringing your torso up. Lovely, reach that right hand long. Left hand to the sky, side bend, breathing into that left lung. And then exhale, ground the left hand, square your hips. Let's step that right foot forwards, super slow. Easing into that right side, wiggle and roll into that right hip. Lengthen that left leg long. Option to walk those elbows down or just stay put here with the hands on the ground. We peel that right knee open, coming to that knife edge of the right foot. Wiggle and roll good and then ground the left hand inhale right hand to the sky peel that hand open as you twist and exhale hand to the ground let's lift the back knee good slowly lift the hips to the sky and then bend the front knee inhale nice long lunge exhale curl chin to chest straighten the front leg 
Inhale to your lunge. Exhale, curl in, straighten the legs as much as you can. Inhale, bend the front knee, lunge. Exhale, curl. Let's add in the arm as we inhale, right arm forward. Curling in, right hand back, exhale. And again, inhale, hand forwards, long lunge. Exhale, drawing back. Inhale, really send the heart forwards as you reach the hand forwards. Exhale, drawing back. Again, inhale, reaching forwards. And then exhale, let's slowly draw left heel down. Bring the hands to the ground. Turn the right toes in and we come to that side. Stretch again as we come into Skarandasana now. Reaching our weight over to that left side. Right hand to the sky. Good. Pivot over to the right. Hand planted down to the instep of the right foot. Left hand to the sky. Breathe in. Good, breathe out and then just allow yourself to wiggle those hips in space. Nice and slow, rocking side to side. Maybe the feet are quite wide on your mat, grip down through the toes, keep the weight distributed nice and evenly on the feet. And maybe you stay put here, maybe this is enough to just work on this wide leg forward fold or perhaps this is your time to come to an inversion. Maybe you start to lower the hands to the ground, forehead to the ground. Find your tripod position with your palms, elbows hugging in as you start to slowly, with the strength of your core, your torso, your upper back, allow the weight of the feet to pop off the floor. Coming to find that straddle position and maybe up into a headstand from here. If you're just staying put without the inversion today, maybe reach your hands super long as if you're coming to the super long and wide downward facing dog. And if you've joined me in a headstand, then let's start to slowly lower our way down and also meet in that wide leg downward dog. Breathing in and breathing out. Good. When you're ready, we're going to turn our weight to that left foot lunging and then stepping back downward dog great well done we start to ripple our weight forward into our upward dog breathe in maybe you drop the knees now and as you exhale allow yourself to settle into a child's pose well deserved child's pose as you allow your fingertips to reach long the seat to settle back Feel your heart pumping. Feel the breath expanding into the whole body, the belly, the backs of the ribs, the back of your body. And then exhale, allow it all to slow down. Again, a breath in, filling up into the belly, the ribs, the back of the ribs, back of the body. And then exhale, feel that cool air releasing. Take your time to ground down through the fingertips. Feel the earth beneath your fingertips. And then ease your way up bone by bone to come to sit. Sit tall, elegant through your spine. Allow the head to just lightly sway a little without any force, just to ease the neck side to side good and then very slowly start to bring the fingertips behind you spread the fingertips wide it's like this pyramid shape of the fingertips and then start to slowly press the hips forwards rise up to this version of camel let the glutes slightly squeeze to press the hips forwards if the neck feels okay drawing back if not chin to chest breathe in and then exhale, nice and slow, chin to the chest. We lower the seat to the heels, back in our seated position. Maybe the neck rolls side to side. Take your time to bring your hands forwards at the top of your mat and then cross the legs over to then simply sit your seat down. Extend your legs long, lower to the ground and come to lie down onto your mat or our resting pose, Shavasana. Take as long as you need. 
close the eyes, let the body release down and relax. 